So what do we need to do this? A opinel knife and a half round file. And maybe a bench vise, but that's not really necessary. Because I did the first one without a bench vise. Also we're gonna need some tape. That is something that I do recommend. Just tape up the knife. You can see the knife is still sharp. Be careful. I need to cut myself again. I'm gonna take the half round file, uh, the round file. I'm gonna start right here. Out in the middle of the knife and just gonna start up by hand. I'm not gonna put it in the vise. Also, can use a Dremel. I wanna try it with the file because that's how I did the first one. Keep in mind this is only the second time I did this so I'm learning with you. So try to make it same depth. Hold it on the whole knife and, and follow the same angle. This will take a few hours to do, for the whole knife I mean, but it is worth it, well at least in my opinion. Blow the dust a bit, so that's what we have now. I'm gonna take the file and do it again next to it. I'm doing it in a few pieces. I'm not gonna start here and go in one thing in one continuous stroke. I do it a few millimeters at a time. So it's easier to control.
back a uh, lot now, but when it's done, it will look a whole lot better. You see the dark line? Try to make it a stick um, all around, but at the same thickness. And continue to do that all over this side of the knife. And I will come back at you when that is when that is done. So after you come to this part, you can see it all ends now. You need to match this one up so it will be con one continuous spiral. You take uh, the half, uh, the round file, start in here, in this one, and gently file it till it matches with the other. Might take a few minutes to get the first one done and I mean I spent a few hours just doing this so yeah will take a few minutes it will take some time see okay, once you got that done you can just follow this one and do it for the rest of the knife. And that's basically it. And now I'm gonna continue that, and that's the whole knife. So once you finish everything, all the file work, yeah, looks like this. And it's time to sand it and yeah, oil it or use a uh, whatever you want to protect the wood again. I'm gonna extend it quickly with the uh, 120 grit. It's just uh, the butt of the knife. Not more, not less. Then just give it a quick. Well, it's definitely not quick. But it will give it a nice look. If it's still good, apparently not because I can't open the freaking lid. So I'm just gonna use some Miranti wood stain for slash protector. To give it a darker look. As you can see, I'm not worrying about the metal being painted with, painted also. We'll figure that out later.
make sure you get all in the weird stuff in between those grooves and once you've done that let it try for the recommended time and then you fill and it's finished so I'm gonna let it dry now till tomorrow and then we'll see